All right, so we're gonna get straight into this video, you guys. I am applying my moisturizer and I am using my Pixie Beauty H2O moisturizer. It's a water base. Definitely recommend for those who have oily combination skin. Um, you definitely do not wanna use primers that have um, petroleum in it or any type of oil. Definitely take a look at your ingredients. I guarantee you a lot of primers that are silicone based, that's what's causing it oiliness. Um, next, I'm gonna go in with my face primer. The face primer that I'm using um, is going to be the Laura Mercier primer. You guys know that I love this primer. It gives me like a matte feel. Um, this is a blemishless primer, so it's supposed to help with the pores and stuff like that. Um, it's the one in the purple container. They do have several ones to use, so definitely check it out and make sure that it works for your skin. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and mattify my skin a little bit more. So I am going in with the Urban Decay uh, Mattifying Powder. You guys, this is a step that you definitely can skip. I just use this when I want a more matte look. And then because we're going with a matte foundation as well, I want like a matte face, red lip. And so I am using the NARS foundation. This is their new uh, matte foundation that they just made. I actually will link it right above for you guys. Um, so definitely check it out if you have not. I did a whole little demo. Um, now on the forehead, I still use my foundation, which is the NARS um, Radiance. I haven't actually tried the matte on my forehead. So lately I've been doing this thing where I am using products but trying to use less of them. As far as like wasting products, I feel like a lot of times when we do our makeup, if you pour, you know, foundation out or pump it out, whatever, you notice that we waste a lot of makeup. Like I will literally swipe a lot of stuff off my hand. So instead of applying foundation underneath the eyes, I'm using my cover cream, which is my next step after I would use my foundation. And so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm just gonna take my Alcone sponge. Um, I will leave the link where you can purchase that at as well. And we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Um, for the contour, that is coming from Juvia's Place. And I'll also put that down below. Today I did go ahead and decide to blend and buff out the contour using a sponge. I do not do this often, but I notice when I do use a sponge, I tend to love my makeup a lot more. But honestly, it just kind of depends on the day because baby, it can go left or right. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Caramel. And this is from NARS. And this is their soft matte concealer i will say that i love i really really love this um concealer i do want to try a shade lighter but this actually works um it definitely looks natural once everything is set and so that's what we're going to use today for our highlight and concealer All right, so I wanna go in and add a lighter concealer and I went ahead and used a little bit of the Morphe 3.25 and I am applying that just on the beginning section of the under eye 
and this is just going to just brighten it up and I did add it um, on the forehead partially as well now because I tend to break out on my forehead I tend not to add any concealer Next for the face powder, I'm going to go in and I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent. You guys know that that's like, that's just going to be something I always use unless I find something better. I just love the way it melts into the skin. Let me know what your favorite powder is. Then I'm going to go in with the Beauty Bakery powder in the shade Plantain. And then for the contour, I'm going to use the um, Beauty Bakery Brownie Bar. You guys, I've been getting a lot of use out of this. Just been trying to pick up stuff that I don't normally use. Um, and this one, um, I love the fact that it has like your deeper color and it also has that warmth as well, which is that reddish brown. Next, I'm going to go and add my base. My base that I'm using is going to be um, the shade number five. And so I'll put that down below for you guys. Now, if you guys stay in Dallas or wherever you stay, you can always go to a Morphe store and pick up the base in store. Um, but I tend to just order it online. So I went ahead and contoured my nose a little bit more and I'm also going to take that same palette and so I'm not doing too much of the eyes today as you can see so it's a really really simple very beginner friendly. I'm taking that warm brown eyeshadow as well as that darker brown that we used to contour and I'm just using that and bringing that up from the nose and then taking that on from the outer edge into the nose if that makes any sense. <coughs> I did go back into my makeup is my Life Cosmetics palette, grab like a soft brown as well to add to the crease just to give it a little bit more definition. I didn't want to use like a darker, darker brown, so I opted out for that contour shade. I forgot. I started to use it, but I didn't like it. And so I'm just patting that color in just to make sure it's blended. And then I did go ahead and take like a soft neutral, I think it was like a beige nude out of that same palette. And just took that to pat that on the lid just to give me like a simple on the go type look like baby I was trying to look like I was in a hair magazine I was not trying to be overly done today I just wanted something simple because I was actually filming um, and getting ready for a photo shoot for my website so that's the reason why For my eyeliner, I am using the NYX, you already know, the matte eyeliner. This is bomb. If you have not checked it out, definitely do so. Y'all actually got to go ahead and buy me some more because, baby, she is getting a little dry. Now, this is actually my favorite, and it's more so because of the brush and the product. It, you know, when my eyes water, it doesn't move anywhere.
I'm gonna go in with my NARS liner and I will link it down below this is actually one of my top liners that I use um, I don't have any smudging or anything like that yeah I actually like the Urban Decay one too it's bomb I'm then gonna go in and smoke out the lower lash line so I'm just taking a black eyeshadow a little bit of like the warm reddish brown eyeshadow as well just to smoke it out So I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Mascara and then we are going to pop on these lashes. So the lashes that I'm wearing are in the style Whiplash from my line. I'm actually using the tweezers of applicators that come with. Um, it's something that you would have to add on but for the first 20 people um, I went ahead and put it with, with their order. So go ahead and check out the website you guys. We will be having some Black Friday specials. So make sure you guys are signed up and I will be posting um, wigs and units. I'm actually in the process of making. Next we are wiping the excess powder off. We're going to go in and apply my face powder. The face powder that I'm using is going to be for Makeup Forever. You guys know that I love this freaking powder. It is a full coverage um, powder. So if you guys don't want to wear a lot of makeup, if you don't want to wear liquid, you definitely can go with this. Next, I'm going to go in with MAC Sweetest Cocoa, you guys. I have not worn a MAC blush in, like, forever. I actually need to go through my blushes and figure out what I need to start back using because I am actually a blush whore. Like, I will still continue to buy blushes. Like, I don't care how many I have. I don't care if it's drugstore. I just love it. Next, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place highlighter, and I'm using their loose highlighter in the shade Nubia. I will link it down below for you guys. This is a great alternative. I consider this drugstore. Not sure if you guys do as well. Um, to me, Ulta is still considered drugstore, um, even though they do have you know some high end products as well. But they do offer also affordable, so you can definitely just walk into your Ulta and buy it, or you can actually go onto the website. As much as I use this product, I'm, I'm gonna need them to go ahead and give me a discount code because sis be like really just putting it out there for you guys but no i really enjoy their products but like they really need to go ahead and drop that little discount code for you for your girl what y'all think all right so i'm just adding a few coats of mascara on the lower lash line taking that same mascara let me know what your favorite mascara is there is a drugstore mascara that i really want to get my hands on um, I think I'm going to go ahead and get it this weekend so I can share it with you guys. So next we're going to go in with the lips, you guys. Since we're doing a red lip, I personally like to do the ombre. You don't have to do this. You can use a brown liner um, as well to kind of soften up that red. And so I am taking MAC Night Moth lip liner um i will see if i can find a different lip liner that's close to that one um i know jordana has one but i forgot the name of it i used to use it back in the day that's really really similar to this color as well next we're going to be adding the shade boss lady and this is from lip bar and you can actually purchase this in target or also online and you guys i forgot how i heard about this company i know i was watching jackie Ina's video um, but I believe you can also find them on Instagram as well. Y'all, this is like one of my favorite reds to wear. Um, and uh, every time I put this lipstick on, everybody always asks me what I'm wearing on my lips. So it is a very, very gorgeous red. Seem to have like a blue tone undertone. Just kind of depending on uh, some people like that orange undertone as well. Um, but I love a blue tone deep red. Um, it's one more red lipstick that I want to try out when I get my hands on it. I'll share it with you guys 
Um, after that, I'm just going to go ahead and take my concealer brush and I'm just cleaning that up. I know with red, you know, with any lipstick, it can smear and this is just my way of getting it crisp. So y'all, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, share, drop a comment. I appreciate it. I will comment back. And yeah, this is pretty much my look for my mini photo shoot for my website. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Later.